Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just an update on Jesse Jackson and his wife. They are both still technically hospitalized. His wife, Jackie, has been moved to ICU and because of breathing complications. Jesse Jackson has been moved to a rehab center from the hospital um, due to his Parkinson disease. Now, I don't know if that situation got worse, but one thing is, you know, these two are up in age. Jackie is 74 years old. Jesse is 79 years old. Jesse Jackson received his two jabs seven months ago. Jackie never got the jabs. Now, I initially thought she got the jab. She did not get the jab because they were concerned about her pre-existing conditions that she has. So she's not jabbed, but Jesse is. All right. So this came out on CBS News, August 28th, 2021. Reverend Jesse Jackson transferred to rehab facility. Wife moved to ICU after, um, you know, they were both hospitalized with Delta. Reverend Jesse Jackson has been transferred to a rehabilitation facility after spending almost a week in the hospital being treated for CV. This is according to his son, Jonathan. And this is what he said on Friday in a statement. And by the way, this is August 28th, 2021 is when this article came out. So Jonathan said that um, Jacqueline was moved to intensive care because they were concerned about her breathing. Jackson, 79, was transferred from Chicago Northwestern Memorial Hospital to Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, where he will be immediately, he's going to get therapy for his Parkinson's disease there. So I don't know if that was impacted from him having Delta or not. It does not say. This is according to his son. And he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2015, according to his son. Jacqueline Jackson was hospitalized with her husband on August 23rd, and she is 77 years old, but has since been moved to ICU. Her son said uh, she's not on a ventilator, but she is receiving oxygen treatment to help her breathe on her own. Both of our parents are continuing to receive excellent medical care, Jonathan said. We urge that you continue to keep them in prayer because we know this is a serious disease. The civil rights leader, who is widely known for his activism, told AP reporters on Tuesday that he was thankful for the great care he was receiving. I am doing fairly well, Jackson said. Jackson is fully vaccinated. So he got two jabs seven months ago. His wife, Jacqueline, did not receive any doses due to a pre-existing condition, the AP reported. 
Okay, in the statement, Jackson's son thanked those worried about his parents and urged everyone to get jabbed. Oh, okay, well, your father got it and look at where he is. We continue to receive the love that is being poured out to our family from around the world and it is greatly appreciated as we express our love and concern for the millions of people who have been uh, victimized by CV and its variants, Jonathan said. We know this is a dangerous disease, so please remain prayerful for all of those who are suffering as a result. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, one thing that is really annoying to me, and, you know, every day they got Dr. Fauci and the CDC in the news. And I, you know, maybe it's me, but to me, these people are of no use. They have not given any advice that have made things better. They have not given any advice over the last year and a half that has been helpful to the American public. And quite frankly, when you see people wrong all the time on things that they say, I, I think it's safe to say they're not experts. They're not. They're not. If you're wrong more than you're right, you're not an expert. And I would rather find my own information at this point in time than listen to Dr. Fauci or anybody from the CDC. And that's how I feel. And I certainly, I, I don't listen to mainstream news because they're full of crap. So you got somebody with both jabs. Y'all claim they don't get as sick and they they, they, they got a better chance of not dying. And that's all BS. Around here, locally where I am, they have been putting stories out about people that got both jab scenes and they still or in the boneyard. I'm just saying, you know, that virus is not going to discriminate against who got a jab scene and who's not. Y'all are just straight up lying. Every day that you keep putting that in the media, you are lying to everybody. So y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, these two are up in age. I hope they pull through this thing, you know, no matter what misgivings I might have about Jesse Jackson, I still wouldn't want to see him go out this way. But y'all, please tell me what you think, or his wife, for that matter. You know, um, you know, it, it is just something that you are never going to predict who's going to end up really sick with this thing or not. You just don't know. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.